Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. Somebody here, they cannot penetrate you energetically in some type of way for them to get whatever it is that they want or that they need to get out of a situation. So let's just see, I, I, don't, I don't know. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. What I'm saying, this is the truth. It, there's already been, and here's the world, there's been a clear line in the sand drawn. Here you have it. There's a person here who has probably made a lot of money, okay, um, by doing like spiritual work. This, so this could be like a secret society or group. You have a king of pentacles here and the high priestess. This could be this couple, okay. King of pentacles, somebody here who's all about money. They could be in a partnership with someone who this could be like a partnership between two people. They're a part of some type of secret group or society. You have someone here. They come off like they're, they're a, a, a nice family man or whatever. You know, they, they could be a business owner, whatever the case is. This person will do anything for money. And they most likely are in a connection with someone who is like a closet witch. This is a, a warlock and a witch that have come together and decided to, to get their way and to, to probably make money and do other things that they would do a lot of t like bad things, but they have figured out something about energy and what they've been doing is trying to use the energy of people who are of the light to, like I said, pretty much like fight all of their criminal charges and everything. These people here are doing all kinds of stuff and nobody can figure out like how, I don't, I, these people, nobody knows what they're doing. That's the thing. Because you wouldn't look at them and see what these people, they live a double life. What, what they're presenting themselves as, that's not how they live at night. That's not what they're doing. And these people are in a part of some type of cult or secret group or society or something like that. But look, somebody here is rushing now to do a lot of work to try to get rid of you or this is what was done. This could have been someone that you was in a connection with. Okay. The lovers being here and the eight of wands, or they know that you're about to be in a connection. I keep telling you guys, it's something about you not coming into a partnership that these people are trying to ensure happens. They don't want you to be in a partnership because they don't want your energetic source and supply to go elsewhere. They're trying to use all of your energy for themselves. Okay. Or at least they're trying to wait until like whatever this situation is until it's over. It's like they're trying to hold you hostage and make sure that you don't get in a partnership with someone else because right now, like they're they're totally consumed with using your energy. So this is the reason why a lot of people they don't want you to be in a marriage, they don't want you to be in love, and they certainly don't want you to have children. They don't want anything at all to tamper with your energy. For some of you, this is even like a um, if this was a lover, they don't want you to be. Um, intimate with anyone or anything because they're trying to keep they believe it or not they want to keep your energy as pure as possible for themselves this is really weird and sick it's like somebody here because this is a, a strong message somebody wants to keep you single and pure they definitely do not want you sexually active because they 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 need that true essence that, that it's almost like they want like this um but mother mary type of energy like they i, I don't I, oh my goodness <laughs> this is definitely probably somebody that's a part of what i just the empress and the page of wands wow and here's the ace of wands Somebody keeps making offerings to some type of, they make, they're making offers to some type of like goddess or deity or something that rules love and abundance. I don't know which one it is, but this is this, this okay, I get it. This is like a religion and I, I, I know, yeah, this is like a religion. You know, some people, their religion is they just worship certain deities and they make offerings or whatever to these different gods and goddesses or whatever. Um, 
somebody here has different beliefs from from yours they may act like they have the same beliefs as, as you like they're telling you that they believe in god but you don't really know what god they believe in this person what they're doing is with the high priest is the world and the empress here yeah it's all, this is a practice here and this keeps coming up somebody here definitely is worshiping like mommy wata i'm not talking about the reader you guys i know a lot of you who watch my channel watch mommy wata tarot there there is an actual like religion where people they worship mommy wata mommy wata can grant you um if i'm not mistaken fame and fortune so someone's abundance has come from them worshiping probably something like mommy water the world card here is fame abundance is the empress with the high priestess here this king of pentacles here this is the truth there's a king of pentacles out here who has gained the majority of their wealth from worshiping mommy water this person right now is possibly afraid that they're going to become the page of wands or they have to start over now because there's an offer that this person, Mommy Wata, has priests and high priests. But see, what, what these people didn't know when they went trying to offer you up to Mommy Wata or whoever, that's what I'm picking up. Whoever they're trying to make these offer, offerings to, they're not being accepted because you are a high priestess. See, what people don't understand is that you, you don't have to worship different gods, goddesses, idols, or anything like that. However, who you are spiritually, they still respect you. This, this, there's no offering that's going to make any type of goddess, deity, or anything else actually sacrifice a true high priestess. That goes against the code. Somebody doesn't know. They don't know the code of, of these spiritual ethics here. So they keep trying to sacrifice you. So whatever this is for their own personal gain, the page of wands, somebody here is going, they know that soon they're going to have to start over. So someone knows that probably like their finances are declining or something like that. So now for them to have a come up, what they, they're doing, it, it's a ritualistic practice. They're like, okay, well, every few years, you know, when money gets low, let's go and let's sacrifice somebody. I feel like they've done this to you perhaps several times. Well, now the, the, another cycle has come around for them to want to get more fame and fortune or whatever. And they're trying to do this to you and it's not working because over time you're awakening, you're growing, you're evolving. You're remembering who you are. You, you're learning things about these types of situations. And so you're protecting yourself. So you have for some of you is this Queen of Wands. You know, she's been coming out for years now. This Leo. Aries, Sagittarius, well, I'm calling it, like I see a Leo. This person here wants a, a, a very passionate, fun, fiery life where they're successful, they're ambitious. People know their name. That's what they want. This person here is dealing with disappointment and grief. And four of Pentacles, like I said, somebody's money is real funny right now. And then here's the Eight of Swords. Somebody here, they already know they're trapped. They're in their head and they're trapped right now because why? Six of Swords and the Fool, you've gotten away. They can't capture you. They can't get your energy to, to do anything for them. So that means that the empire that they built, the fame and the fortune that they feel like they have acquired so far, using black magic and spell work, making these offers to these different deities about you, that has carried them thus far, it's over. It's a wrap now. Three of Swords, they're heartbroken by this. Six of Wands, I'm telling you, it's all about fame and fortune. These people want rewards and recognition. These people want to be seen as givers in the community. They want to be seen as the people who, who can help other people come out of, of certain type of hardships. But the way that they're getting their money is off of spell work. Black magic, like offering people, like literally sacrificing people. And these people also are very stuck. They're watching you because here you are in this Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands energy. They're on the outside looking in at the fact that right now you are happy. 
you're you're mothering, you're you're caring, you're kind, you're nurturing. Nine of Pentacles, you're minding your business. You you're sitting down, you're reading your books, you're aging like fine wine. You're constantly gaining more and more wisdom and knowledge, and it's making you very very powerful. So your fame, your fortune, and you being someone who can actually make things happen for people in the community, it comes off of your true essence of who you are, not because you're doing magic. These people are possibly trying to say they've accused you of doing magic. You left these people out in the cold and you walked away from this. These are people from your past. You left all of this behind so that you could have peace, balance, and harmony in your own life. Because you saw the truth about it. you saw that for some of you, this is a lover doing this to you. This is a lover, a past lover of yours, but they, this person and whoever they're in a connection with, that's who's been attacking you. It's the same karmic couple that's been coming out. My very first channel message almost two years ago was about this couple and it's, they're still up to no good and they're about to go down like for good because they won't stop. The moon and the, the two of cups, you see the truth that there was a connection here that was built. It, it was false. This could even be a situation where you met a person and they acted like they were they were madly in love with you. You could have even thought this person was a twin flame soulmate. They have always had this queen of wands person in the background because for them, this is an arrangement. This is a business. This is what they do. This person goes out and seduces people and, and plays this Casanova, I love you type of role for them to bait in light beings for the sake of them both. And I'm telling you, these people, they have children. But see, what they don't realize is that they sacrifice their whole family when they try to play with you because they've done this more than, more than once. This karma is going to hit these people's children because what I saw was them at school. They were trying to drop the kids off at school and they're like, this is going to be, you know, eventually we won't be able to do this. No, you won't be because you're going to go to jail or hell because you won't leave this person alone. This karma is not going to just hit, it's going to hit their children. These people have sacrificed their entire family. For what they've been doing. I feel like God was, was ready for them to be gone anyway. Because they're doing too much. Their, their kids have that same old nasty DNA that they have. And I, you know, I, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I'm not biting my tongue either. Somebody has been playing my throat shocker for days. The more and more that this comes out. People have demonic children. Two people like this, I, I, I really don't know what, what type of breed of children they have. But if they keep playing around, I'm telling you, their kids are the ones that's going to suffer. Because they won't stop. It's eye for an eye. Nobody's going to be spared in this situation. You left these people behind and you moved away so that you could have peace balance. You, you are an earth angel. Temperance energy here. And here's the page of swords. What do you think they do? They, they constantly, these people spend so much money investing in watching you, stalking you. And, they're heavily invested in watching you. And then they try to wait to watch and see, are you suffering? Are the attacks, are they working? Are you losing your mind yet? No, none of that is happening. Life is steady moving forward for you. You're steady happy. You're steady celebrating because Spirit has already said that you're free. There was something very significant about that recent full moon in Virgo. Saturn is in Pisces, Queen of Cups energy out here. A lot of you are embodying that Queen of Cups energy. You don't have to be a water sign. But the Queen of Cups is naturally very intuitive, nurturing, caring, kind, sweet. That's the energy that you embody no matter what. I keep saying a lot of you, your heart has been broken a million times and you still go out in the world and you try to love like you've never been hurt before. God is carrying you even when you think that you're being left alone. He will not leave you or forsake you. And I'm not talking about the God that these other people worship. I'm talking about the, the real one. You know, the one that we know about. And it's like they just keep watching, like, did something work? No. Here it is right here. Virgo, Hermit. You guys have gone with the, something about this full moon in Virgo. I'm telling you, it came and it cleared out so many of these illusions. And with Saturn being in Pisces and us moving into Aries season soon, there is a new beginning. It's like possibly I think I read something it's like three 30 years of karma being wiped away it's something about the number three I feel like this is and I can remember doing a reading about this um 
there was something a few months ago it was a sturgeon moon and it, it comes around like it's something about the power of, it's something about the power of three i don't know something very significant this person and I, i've done a reading before too where i said there is a karmic that has tried to take you out at least three times but see you guys have to understand that how much work goes into this with the seven of pentacles and here look at this the three of cups and the ten of swords somebody here is stressed out because listen the third time it wasn't a charm they did this for the third time and it still did not work out so they are fully aware of the fact that it's it's over for them there's nothing you can do these people sometimes they're spending i'm getting seven to eight weeks if not months conjuring uh, like harvesting energy because of course these people they cannot be caught in the daylight doing th they're doing this in the dark they're doing this with moon magic these people are using astrology and moon magic and everything these are rituals that are going on for months at a time you can't just they're not just um making one sacrifice and then boom like no th this is a process that's what I'm saying. It's a group. This is a whole process. And I don't, I don't know what kind of calendar or, or timeline they're operating on, but they, they put a lot of energy into this. So it, it's, a, it's devastating when they can't get rid of you or you don't serve the purpose that they want because that type of energy, it's like once you, I'm assuming once you conjure it up, like if it doesn't work, that's pretty much over because they already know if they, first of all, these people, they use your energy to, to attack you. Okay, I've been saying that for, for years now. They use your energy to attack you. They're siphoning your energy, harvesting it, and then using it to amplify their spiritual gifts or whatever so that they can attack you. Well, if they don't have access to you, that means that first of all, they can't take you out and then there's no round two. They can't come and say, well, let's just start the ritual over. They can't get in anymore. The well has run dry. Everybody got to starve now. They, they, everybody's dehydrated, like, that's it. It's over. <laughs> and they keep trying, like, but, like I said, just like this car here, it says everything. It's over. The, the, there's a disconnect here. Somebody here has been cut off. Right in the middle. They're off with their head. It's done. You, the magic will never work. It's over. Two of Pentacles. Somebody here is juggling now. They don't know what to do because this ten of swords deceptive, but like energy here of trying to betray you. Yeah, somebody here is possibly now thinking about should they go? Should they go on the run? They don't know what to do. Three of swords. Eight of, I'm telling you, somebody is now trying to figure out how can they get away. How what do they? How can they get away? Look at this. Six of cups, the lovers, the queen of pentacles, and the death card. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired of this Queen of Pentacles. I say I'm, I'm tired of this Queen of Pentacles showing up because this is like this elderly lady, this this mother figure for some. But for some, I, I still pick up an energy for some of you. For some of you, it's like there's an elderly woman specifically who has been a part of this that has been attacking you. This person could be connected to a past lover of yours. It could be like their mother. But it's like you have a past on loved one or an ancestor who could be a queen of pentacles who's also ensuring that none of these weapons formed against you are able to prosper. Somebody is steady protecting and defending you because the page of swords here and the ten of pentacles. No, seriously, no. There's the um this karmic couple, they 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 work in cahoots with a queen of pentacles. And what these people have been doing is they've been watching your money. They watch your money and they're obsessed with trying ten of pentacles. They'll these people will do anything for money. And and they target people and watch them. People who they know are going to have some type of abundance. People who they, they feel like maybe they come from like a wealthy family. I'm telling you, I I picked up on this energy a few months ago too. I said there's like two people here. They may have been raised in poverty. And there's nothing against that. These people, it looks like they have everything now, but it's almost like they target people who grew up, you know, in a certain type of home or lifestyle or come from a certain type of family. It, it, it's giving very much like the show you, like two people who have come together crazy and just decided to start taking people out together. Like that's what this really is. But these people are targeting a certain type of person. 
And I feel like they target people who who have a certain type of energy, but they, they have a certain type of energy to, to be able to generate wealth. People who, I mean, which just divine beings, like you're chosen. So you're protected and you're also prosperous. These are people who I don't I don't know if this this couple if they they met when they were younger with especially with the six of cups here one of these people like one of oh my goodness this is very specific one of these people in this couple one uh, in this relationship this karmic couple one of them could have lost a, a parent at a very young age this could have been like a, a karmic feminine who didn't feel protected by a mother figure they lost their mom or dad at a young age or something like that and they trauma bonded with this warlock of a masculine. And, and they just been on like a, a war path ever since of let's just attack people who, you know, are protected because, well, we weren't protected when we were kids. So let's just like target anybody who has divine protection because they feel like if they would have had more protection, then maybe they wouldn't have gone. This is two people who have trauma bonded and they, they're sick. They're twisted. They are really sick, twisted and just weird. And they're attacking people. And the whole goal is all we want to do is make money. We just want to make money. This is like two rejects who came together, two um, broke rejects who are mad because somebody stole their candy in school and made them feel bad. So now they're just running around. Let's just attack everybody who may have some kind of money or, you know, has a loving family or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they don't even realize that the people that they are attacking have probably gone through more hell in life than they have. They just see you doing okay in life and decide, well, we're going to attack that person because we want what they have. And because they keep doing so much dark, shady stuff, they just want to use your energy to protect them because they're sick. They, they like being dark like this. They, they love it. it. It's what they do. They love being like this little secret voodoo family. Like this, that's just how they get down. <laughs> oh, man, these people are real goofy. The car that just fell on the floor is a ten of swords. One second. Ten of swords. These people here have, like I said, they 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 struggled or suffered, and what they really want to do is is transfer that on to you. Six of Pentacles. They want you to feel their pain. I'm telling y'all, these are like two. <laughs> these, these, these are some really dark people. Um, I, I don't know if you call this a, a sociopath, psychopath. These people, like they, these are extreme narcissists. They like they, they don't have feelings at all. They, they could have children, families. They don't care. Like th these people are so traumatized by something that happened to them at some point that they stick together because they share this trauma bond. Either they both went through something separately or they went through something together that was so traumatic that they literally have gone out in the world. Like these, I'm, they're, they're numb. Like these people are completely desensitized. They have no empathy. Like they are a, a black soul, like an empty vessel. They, all they want to do is make money. That's it. That's that's all they want. And they love to feed off of people who are loving, caring, full of light, empaths. They, they, these are just extreme narcissists. But this is this goes beyond that. These it's something here about this story that's been coming out. These people are are lethal. I don't know what they witnessed when they were younger, but. They trauma bonded together, I'll tell you that. And it's definitely giving me a situation where, like I said, these two people who are together, they are in a, an arranged connection. So maybe because, you know, a few days ago I had that, I know what you did last summer. They know something about each other, something that they, one of them did or something that they did together. And they've sworn to never leave each other behind. And I feel like they can go, they, they, they have an arrangement where it's like, well, you can go out and be with somebody else, but they will never separate. Because what they really are trying to do is recruit people into this connection 
that carry light and protection so that they can still do this dark stuff. These people, y'all, I'm like, and I almost want to get out of this reading because what I'm seeing is this, this is like the kind of stuff that you see on, on shows and movies. This is like something very, 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 very dark. This is not just like, oh, you know, I'm upset and maybe somebody, you know, got upset and, and I don't know, did some really low vibration, like they bust your window at your car. Like, no, these people are lethal. They're they're dangerous and they don't have feelings. And this is an this is something that they do together. And then when they do, it's like, I don't know, like they're they're shape shifting or trying to they, they do all this stuff and then they transfer the energy, the bad karma onto somebody else. I'm telling you what it is. It's a witch and a warlock. A dark witch and a warlock. These people are flat out demonic. Like seriously, they're dem this is a demonic couple. It's a witch and a warlock. And they do this kind of stuff together. Whoa, my goodness. I don't know what this is that I'm picking up on. Four swords. These people wanted somebody to be laid to rest. Okay. Ten of swords, four swords. Some of you, this person, they, they, they've attacked you so many times and now you're trying to recover. Page of swords. Mm -mm -mm. Will of Fortune. They're watching. What goes around, it will come back. It's like a boomerang. Yeah. Baby, that death ritual that, that they spent all this money and paid for. This is this Ace of Pentacles, this isn't even about money. It was they took action. They they may have paid somebody. But whatever this death energy is, it's going right back to them. And they did it for money, or they paid somebody to do it. Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius here. Either this is being done to a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius was, was involved in this. The Emperor. The Emperor, Death, and Will of Fortune. Page of Swords, Four of Swords. I did a reading months ago where I said somebody keeps getting in your energy and they saw their own demise in your energy. Somebody is getting into your dream. It's like this person, for some of you, they keep getting into your dreams and into your energy and, and, and trying to read whatever visions that God sends you. What they messed around and seen now was that they are, they're about to be taken up out of here. That's why they're scared now, because they're like, oh my gosh, yeah. God was like, well, you keep getting in this person dreams, I'm, I'm going to send you a, a, a message myself. I'm going to send you a message through through them that I'm about to take you out because you won't stop playing. Oh, this person is pissing me off so bad. J Justice. I'm done. <laughs> Period. And that's what it is. So you might as well go celebrate. And these people, they love to celebrate. They celebrate too soon, though. Because they'd be like, yeah, we got it this time. Temperance. Justice for an earth angel. Justice. Something here would be balanced out completely. Yeah. Somebody did a whole lot of work. Here's that Queen of Pentacles again. I, I just, there's something about this Queen of Pentacles. I, it, I don't know if this, if this person is good, bad, evil, or ugly. I'm going to be completely honest. But somebody here did a lot. Whatever this Queen of Pentacles person is, and this uh, this group of people, whatever they invested in when it came to trying to ruin your happiness, something that they did in the past is about to come out. It's going to backfire. Everything is going to backfire. And for those of you, yeah, because you're protected. And there's a person that's been trying to come in towards you, that, that they've been trying to block coming towards you. That person is going to make their way to you at some point. Because like I said, the whole point was for them to 
sabotage you and your connection so that you would not have any type of happiness, abundance, any type of enlightenment so that you wouldn't have children. You wouldn't be able to celebrate your fertility and abundance will be cut off. That's what this idiot thought that they could do. But you were protected. And here is justice. Earth angels are always going to be protected. Just period. This person here has been blocked out. Three of Wands, yeah. You can expect something to come in. Somebody, Something here has been delayed. So whatever has been delayed is going to come in. Your ships are coming in. And I feel like, too, the, yeah, Six of Swords. Your angels, are they've been guiding and protecting you. And the thing about it, look at this. As above, so below. So for some of you, you have a person. <laughs> look at this. Here's this group. Five of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. This is this group that has been attacking you and possibly either you or someone that you know or both of you for money, for some type of prosperity or gain. Spirit came right up out in there and, and took your, you and possibly somebody else that you're supposed to be with. They got you right out of the way because you want, it's like for some of you, if this is a divine like counterpart situation, you and someone have already built a solid, um, union in in the spirit realm it, it just wasn't safe for it to be here on this earthly realm yet because you had these idiots that thought that they was going to come in and steal everything from you so now they just that you know they just have to be wiped out and we've been saying this for a long time but i'm telling you their day is coming and it's coming real soon so if you whatever you're doing to protect yourself keep doing it turn it up a notch because i'm so sick of these people like i really i am tired of them and i'm at a point now there's nothing that could turn me heartless, but when I tell you, I don't, I don't have any mercy for these. People. I don't have any mercy for this couple, for this old woman, for their kids. I don't have mercy for any of them. Vengeance belongs to the Lord, but I'm telling you right now, when their day comes, I don't have a bit of mercy. None. N no. Nothing. They should be. Mm. Marriage. Yeah, this is all about. Somebody here, for some of you, somebody is upset that you, because you won't marry them. Somebody keeps on trying to bind you into a contract in the spirit. And 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 if, if you're not in that contract with them, then they experience poverty. They don't want you to be married at all because they keep binding themselves to you. Someone is binding themselves to you so that they can drain you energetically so that they can take your abundance. And that's what I'd be saying too about some of these men and women who are dealing with these karmics sometimes like you have to be careful with who you share your energy with because sometimes a person all of their abundance that they have it's off of your energy i'm telling you that they're they're signing checks of abundance with your energetic signature without you they experience poverty These people are, are, are draining your solar plexus and sacral chakra energy, draining it for themselves. They're going to these meetings or whatever and, and, and doing these rituals, this false person, to take all of your energy. They're taking your energy, like I said, to make offers to these different deities or whatever so that they can have fame and fortune. If you look around and everybody around you, they, you know, I don't know a huge following on social media and whatever else they got the nicest cars and, I, and you trying to figure out why you keep on going through hell in life it's because you keep letting this person steal all your energy get away from these people some of you this may not be you this could be somebody that you're meant to connect with the reason why they can't seem to, to get into your life is because they refuse to realize that they're hanging around people who is sucking them dry of all of their own essence and energy. Somebody here is meant to be wealthy. And that's the only reason why these sick people keep them around. That's the only reason. But they're, they're, they're not seeing any of their rewards or recognition because it's being used. They're using this part. Somebody is being sacrificed all of the rewards and recognition that they're supposed to receive is being given somebody is making an offer probably to this mommy water water goddess or deity or whatever for fame and fortune they're transferring all of your abundance to themselves 
You better get away from these people. High honor. I'm telling you, somebody here is supposed to have a life of prosperity and abundance. But you have this mature man here in the community who's gaining sudden wealth with this false person. It is, it's like, it's just stop. But these people, they won't stop. That's what I'm saying. It's, it, it has to be jail or hell. These people, they they die and they keep doing this in the afterlife. They, they just can't control themselves. There, I read something last night. There is um, like a prince of darkness in hell that that um, their whole role is to go against marriages. Hold on. Let me find that. There's... um. I think it's it's like something about I may put write this in the community board. It's something about like the seven princes of hell. And it's a few of them that are totally against marriage. Okay? And it's 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 a demonic spirit that I feel that these people are sending out. I'm gonna put that in maybe that's a different message, but I, it, it's coming up from right now. Some of you, if this isn't happening to you. It's happening to your counterpart, whether you know this person or you don't. But you're experiencing all of these delays in your love life because somebody is possibly sending out this demonic force. Like somebody here is tied to a group or a organization, a secret society or whatever. It's witches and it's warlocks and they are worshiping these different um deities gods goddesses or whatever but there, there's something here dark they're sending out this this um demonic spirit of one of, like this this prince of hell or something and and it's supposed to get you tied to um like these deadly sins so you know it's all about greed and like pride and gluttony and stuff like that and and it, it's sending like you or your person maybe like the the dark spirit of lust or something like that. What, what this is so that people will never become married, and and these people who have allowed themselves now to become so dark and demonic, they can always feed off of your energy. I I don't know where that just came from, but I, I guess it's something. I'll have to research it further. It just came to me. Look at I say, power of three. Somebody here is using the power of three. And with these princes of hell, somebody is calling on those. I think it's like three, three of the seven princes of hell. They're calling on this using glamour magic. So you may be feeling very tired and fatigued. Yeah, look, I just said this earlier, blocking your throat chakra, sending you insects, black birds, snakes, and rats. Like these people, child. <laughs> Stupid. Damn, demons gonna go, gonna be knocking at their door. I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time. Because the the thing about it, y'all, that's so funny is everything that they're sending towards you. As soon as it gets to you, it recognizes your energy and it turns around. I'm to this karma is about to hit somebody like a boomerang. Every time they want to send a, a prince of 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 hell or the grim reaper or anything else towards you, as soon as it gets to you, it's like no. They're making sacrifices to deities that some of you, you don't even, like me, you don't even know about them. But they already respect you. They're not doing anything to you. So what do you think is going to happen? These people, some of them, I'm, for some reason, they've cursed like three generations of their bloodline by doing this. At least three. And some of them have at least three children. Because it's something very significant about them picking these kids up from school. Some of these people have at least three kids. <laughs> and they out here doing all this stuff? Okay. Baby, it's going to be one of these um, princes of hell going to be assigned to each one of your children. Keep playing. 
block third eye yeah trying to get block your third eye so that they can get into your dreams and there you have it, a scorn love this is either your ex or it's the ex of someone that you're dealing with someone here still feels some type of pain and rejection Th this is the trauma bond it's like you and this person connected in the past because of when you were in a lower vibration let's just be honest and you may have dealt with um issues around codependency and rejection where now you healed you've moved on they're in a trauma bond with somebody else who like i just said that earlier two rejects a, a witch and a, and a warlock who will have felt felt rejected who refused to heal that's just going out and trying to cause hell for everybody else like get over yourself yeah, practice a return to sender um, ritual. These people here are completely obsessed with you and their energy vampires. They keep tabs on your every move. And look, look, the person causing you negativity is an earth sign. What, what, who was the first person that came out in the reading? King of Pentacles. That's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. I'm not really getting Virgo. I'm getting for sure a Taurus or a Capricorn. Beware of new people entering your life. Some of these people, they send the new people into your life that embody this energy of these princes of hell to attack you. And it's all because they're secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. For some of you, this is an ex-lover that's pissed off because they're in this arranged situation with this damn witch that they know that they can't get away from. They would love to be able to be on the light side if they could, but they're in too deep. Every time they try to leave this person, that person is going to always bring up those kids and blackmail them about everything that they've done in the dark together. They, they curse themselves to this life. It's over. Like, they need to just leave you alone. Like, seriously. <laughs> stay, stay in your secret society. That's, that's what you, you got into. That's what you wanted to do. This person, for some of you, this person, they they wish they could get out of that because I don't know if they didn't know what they were getting into. Some of them, they did know, but now it's too much. They want to get out of it. <laughs> they want to get out of it now because they're not protected. They're, they're not getting the same benefits anymore. The money is running out. The sex, they're, they're tired of having the orgies. The money is running out. So now it's, oh, I want to go to this divine feminine or I want to go to this divine masculine. This person can't touch you even if they wanted to. The city, intimacy, intimacy and sex, yeah. Childhood memories and trauma. These people here could have, like I said, what did I say earlier? Same sex relationship. This could be a couple here who don't even like each other. They both could be into same sex relationships, but because of their childhood memories and their trauma, this came out a few days ago or last week. Somebody here has some, some trauma dealing with intimacy from their childhood. They could have grown up in a city felt like they were alone i don't know what their backstory is but this whole victim consciousness that's not anybody's like fault everybody has trauma this person they didn't they didn't have to go out here and become like a freaking spiritual hitman because of trauma from their past they could have went to therapy and healed you could have booked the reading with the spirituals got you a life coach go to church i don't know but just going out here attacking people because of your own childhood trauma Get out of here and has the nerve to want a divine feminine or masculine to be with them. A divine feminine or masculine that most likely tried to heal this idiot. But they lied about the fact that they were in a relationship with a whole witch or a warlock. That they know that they could never get out of. These people are a part of some type of cult or a gang. They're locked in for life. They're not getting out. Seducer. I'm hearing that Beyonce song, Older Man. I'm hearing that Beyonce song, um, it's Jay-Z and Beyonce on the wrong part too. Who wants that perfect love story anyway? What does he say? Something about if you go to hell, like you sneak. Pretty much this, this person knows that, that they're, they, they are doomed to hell, but they, they want you to keep entertaining them they, they want you to keep trying to take a ride on the wild side and entertain them while they're in hell like this person they won't let you they won't let you go and, and i said it's like this person even even 
if they were to leave this room, this person, they they are obsessed. Like, I'm telling you, somebody here is doing a lot of binding magic on you or someone that's either in your life or about to come into your life. Like somebody is trying to do binding work on a person so that like even if they die, they still want to be connected to you. That's how like obsessed this person is. Because it's really like how I said a few days ago, you're the only thing keeping this person alive, really. You're the, your light is the only thing that's keeping this person alive. You're the only thing that's keeping this person alive and out of jail. And a lot of you, the crazy thing, you don't have any contact with this person. You don't talk to them. You don't want to talk to them. But I'm telling they watch your every move. We have here seducer and older man. Yeah, be, be mindful, you guys, too, of people, female friend here. You can have a female friend here who seduces older men. Uh-huh, this, this person here. No, this is this couple, same sex. They don't even like each other. I, I bet you they are into the same sex, both. This man and this woman, this witch and this warlock. They're, into, they're really into the same sex, but I guarantee you, this woman here is a witch she goes out and she seduces older men for money and i bet this king of pentacles they know that they will do whatever it takes for them to have money they don't care Th these two people have so many secrets together it's, it's sick i mean they when i tell you they'll do anything for money they will do anything for money look lust lustful thoughts that's all they do seduce people do all this lustful stuff baiting people in they they suck people in by seducing them innocent people an older man this is like a woman who will go and seduce an older man who is receiving retirement benefits or something like that so that they could somehow do a love spell on them and and steal all their money like it's it's stupid stuff like that this is a whole operation for these people this this is how they make money doing hoodoo voodoo black magic and, and other stuff and and offering people up sacrificing people and then the jig is up. It's over. It ain't working no more. Who oh, these people just pissed me off. I, I just, I don't know what else to say. There's nothing else to say. I'm sick of these people. And they keep coming up in the readings because they keep getting in people's energy. If you get in, if you stay in somebody's energy, it's gonna come up in these readings. Stay out of people's energy. It's that simple. They don't realize that by every time they get in somebody's energy, all of their secrets come out. Let me just get these last few cards because this is sickening, man. These people are so dark spirited and sick and the stuff for money and sex that they do it's just oh it's disgusting and and in this reading i think i'm picking up on two different situations there there's a, a situation here that's more related to like a family where somebody is attached to a family this older lady this queen of pentacles here could be super religious this person here is a closet witch and they're sending out demonic spirits because they're trying to keep somebody their son or or somebody close to them from going towards a relationship but then some of you you still have this person in your energy also that they're in a relationship with somebody and it's an arranged situation this is this is not just uh, the stuff in this reading some of it is connected some of it is not take what resonates some of you have multiple situations happening in your life especially if you resonate with being like a High level soulmate or a twin flame. This, this is the energy of what's going on with both you and the person that you're connecting with. It's like one of you is being sacrificed by a freaking secret society, and the other one is being sacrificed, trying to somebody, it's like a karmic couple trying to sacrifice you. I don't know. Now like just give up. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. People, the things that people have done after you left them out in the cold, it's being revealed. All of the secrets here are being re revealed. The lovers, yeah. It's the angel, um, Haniel. 
says joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. So I just said that some of you are, are going into these soulmate twin flame connections. This negative energy is going to be removed. This is just the stuff that's happening in the background. So like I just said again, because I'm picking up two distinctive situations, but they're connected and they could be connected because of something in a past life. It's like you or your person, you both have a scorned lover from your past or, or somebody could have this person, you know, it could be recent past or much older. One of you is connected to a person that's in, they're in a relationship with somebody and, and they both are like into some dark stuff and possibly connected to some secret society or whatever. Then one of you is is attached to somebody or was attached to a person that could be very. I'm picking up on a couple here, and you, like I said, you may not even know this person yet. One of you is religious and one of you is more spiritual. So one of you is being attacked by like a couple that's into the occult, heavy, and then one of you is being attacked possibly by a religious group. But this is a religious group who does not worship like Jesus. They don't they don't worship the same God as you. They worship uh, some type of deity. I hope that makes sense. So if you're coming into a union soon, you and your person both are being attacked by some very heavy karmic energies. And one of you for sure somebody has been sent out these um these these like these princes of hell it's, it's some kind of dem demonic spirit that is is here to keep oh y'all i just got it the power of three it's three spirit it's it's three of these princes of hell so somebody has unlike sent these three princes of hell out to attack your union because there's these three princes of hell i don't know it's, it's something about these i think it's like the seven sins so somebody has picked perhaps three of them to attack wow y'all i think I, i'm okay so somebody here, it's like seven sins. Somebody has conjured up three princes of hell and they all represent certain sins. They've sent this dark demonic energy to you or to your connection to rip the you and this person apart so that there won't be a union or a marriage. So these sins, like I said, could be pride. That, that's probably why we keep getting all this stuff here about the ego death. So somebody is attacking you and this person possibly with like pride and lust or gluttony, greed, you know, where somebody here is, is so focused right now on money or they're super focused on sex or whatever. This energy is being projected to you because this is the energy of the people from your past. So you and someone have left your past behind and you're going into your north node into a brand new beginning, no more karmic energy and the karmic energies of your people, of the people from your past that you've had to renounce yourself from because they, they were connected to a kingdom of darkness. They are retaliating against you by projecting this energy towards you. But they've taken it a step further and they're sending out actual demonic spirits to you. Trying to attach yourself to you and your person. That's the reason why Spirit had me to deliver that reading about like twin flames and separation. Some of you have met your person. Or even if you haven't met them, but perhaps you've telepathically been connecting or you energetically connected to them there is a separation right now the reason why god is separating some of you guys right now on purpose because your union is being attacked by these demonic entities that have been sent to you so what these people are trying to do is they're they're creating chaos and conflict so that when you and this person come together one of you may be extremely focused on money one of you may be in this very like highly sexual lustful type of energy or or you you're you're clashing with power struggles and pride and ego this is to collapse a marriage or a union that's supposed to be happening these people think they smart like i'll be telling people all the time don't come on my channel with this energy thinking that i'm not going to see you <laughs> i see you and once it's spoken it's up and it's stuck period like idiot <laughs>
This whole this whole thing just got demolished right here, right now. What is, what is like, seriously? It's so many layers to this. But it, it's almost like you and somebody else, for some of you, if you resonate with this, you're supposed to be connecting with this person. So like I said, it's like the scorn lovers of your past and the scorn lovers of their past because they're all attached to the same kingdom of darkness. Just the, a, a bunch of unhealed narcissistic people. They're attacking you and this person. Separately, but they're a part of the same group. Which is a group of just narcissistic people. Six of swords. That is the gentle God. It is right here next to the lover. So the five of pentacles. There are lovers here who are in separation. Five of pentacles being left out in the cold, feeling rejected and abandoned with one another. Feeling like you need to choose someone else or like you, you, your person will never choose you or whatever the case may be. No, you're moving on a peaceful, calmer waters with the six of swords here. There's a gentle God and the joy of God and the forbearing God that are coming in. And they are working against these three princes of hell that have been sent towards you. It says here protects against accidents and heals the sick. And look at here at the bottom of the deck, the ace of pentacles. The adored God. And here is the fool. So yes, there will be a, a brand new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles, divine blessings, drives away evil spirits. <laughs> it says he'll will and new beginnings, assist with difficult and great undertakings. Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody here wanted you confused. They wanted me confused too. Confused with heartbreak. Eight of Swords, three of Swords. Somebody here was going to make you think about every bad situation you've ever had. Somebody here, I'm telling you, they have thrown everything. This was a heavy spiritual attack. But for me to see this, this lets me know this, this is real close to being over. Because every, I don't know. Lately, just a lot of stuff has been coming out in these readings. Like, I, I can see the good, bad, the evil, and the ugly. Yeah, pathway. Your pathway, look at all those butterflies. You're protected. And this wealthy man that you're supposed to be with, you're in their thoughts, you're in their thoughts, and you're in their prayers. And don't let nobody tell you that you're not. And for some of you, let me be clear here. This may not, this isn't this toxic, evil person. This could be for some of you a person that you do not know. Or a person that you've never been in a relationship with. Please don't get in my comments and say, oh, I'm never going back. Okay, I understand you're not, I'm not talking about this warlock that you were madly in love with. That's not who I'm talking about. There's a, a, a very spiritually wealthy prosperous and abundant person that has been chosen for you that you are having a difficulty with connecting to this person because of everything that's happening in your background if you don't want this person to come into your life the easiest way for you to keep them blocked is for you to keep talking about the past person yeah there's the ending here coughing it's over something here is over if this is this is ending so that you can have this transformation you need to focus on praying. Yeah, because you're supposed to be a privileged lady. The lovers, if you are in a connection here, the lovers with the wealthy man, yes, you're supposed to be a privileged lady. These people have been stealing your energy. Somebody here has targeted a divine feminine and masculine who both are supposed to be very prosperous and abundant. They're targeting the both of you and making you work against one another. Because they don't want you to come together and have all of this prosperity and abundance that's yours. What they want to do is keep the two of you separated and apart so that they can use your energies. And again, you and this person may not know each other, but these people who are watching and stalking you spiritually, they know you and this person are supposed to be together. So they keep throwing all this stuff at you so that you don't come together. Or if you do know this person, everything, they're doing all of this so that you're unable to connect the dots and actually have a life together. Oh, yeah, that, this is a very elaborate plan that they have, but mm -mm, you won't get a past story. Not today, say. <laughs> mm -mm. You can send all your princes of hell back to where they belong. But the thing is, is that these entities and spirits, they respect this divine feminine and this divine masculine. It's like what they're being sent out, but they're, they're being sent right back to where they came from. Well, I'm telling you, whoever this, this earth sign is, they have it coming. This is this is a um that queen and that king of pentacles. This is two money hungry people. But I'm also getting look at that proposal. I told you, y'all. When I got into this reading, I was like, okay, spirit. Spirit was like, 
I have something to say. <laughs> the King of Pentacles, I feel like what I'm seeing right now, Divine Feminine, you have a King of Pentacles in your life that's doing this. Divine Masculine has a Queen of Pentacles in their life that's doing this. This is so weird, but I would not be surprised. Because I guess there's a, a past life connection here. It's almost like, or, or maybe it's not, I don't know. Like maybe these are two families who are going against each other. I don't know. Oh, in a past life, you and somebody could have been a part of like some type of secret society or something like that. You both could have. There's a divine feminine here and a, a divine masculine. You could have been mirroring each other. One of you could have been a, in a religious organization and then you, maybe you, um, especially if you're here, you maybe you were a part of the occult in some type of way. You and this person may have both decided to leave behind whatever your spiritual uh, or religious groups or beliefs were and you chose love. These people are making it so hard for you to come together in this lifetime now because you chose one another. They're, they're, they're throwing every attack, every demon, like they're, they're throwing everything at you. Because they're so afraid. It, obviously, you guys were very high ranking in these organizations. They were using you for, for something. They were using your gifts or your talents to get something done. So, like I said, for one of you, this right here feels like, like spiritual spouses. These people who are in your lives now they could be in your life right now as a friend family member lover or whomever in a past life though you were married to these people i feel and you may have you you it's almost like i'm seeing a story here where two people left the people that they were married to and they chose one another and this is a real twin flame like dynamic so it's like divine feminine you could have been married to this king of pentacles in a past life and you were very rich and wealthy with this person but this person was rich and wealthy because of whatever you were contributing you left this person behind and you went towards somebody that you were in love with but that person in a past life let's say they could have been attached to a, a, a queen of pentacles they could have been wealthy and this queen of pentacles made their life a living hell when they left this person it's something weird like that it's two people here who left people behind in the past and they chose one another you both have encountered these people in this lifetime one of you this person that is blocking you it could be a lover it could be a parent it could be a friend well both of you it could be a lover a parent or a friend but they're showing up in your life right now as these karmics who are behind the scenes doing some really really dark wicked things to you and it's all about their security they need your energy for their security so like this divine masculine in a past like this queen of pentacles was blocking them is blocking them now because in a past life this divine masculine left this person and they they can't be rich they can't be a privileged lady without the energy of this masculine i'm getting right now because i'm thinking about the reading that i did a few days ago this masculine could be going through a lot of financial hardships right now because there's a queen there's a queen of pentacles that's draining them and creating financial hardship because they are bitter and angry because in a past life when this masculine left them, this divine masculine left, they may have fallen on hard times because this divine masculine chose to take their energy and their wealth to be with their actual divine feminine. I can't, it's a 111 on the clock right now. This is a new beginning of two people who are most likely spiritual leaders. You guys could have been spiritual leaders in a past life and you left your congregation or groups or secret society, whatever, you left it all behind for each other. But I feel like you guys, you were married to these people. They're showing up in your life now. And they're, they're still angry with you. This is, right, this is like a major past life karmic debt that's about to finally be wiped out. And again, it's like divine feminine in a past life, this king of pentacles. This person made a bunch of money because you maybe they, maybe you were a high priestess. 
And in the past life, maybe you were, oh, you know, it's so funny. It was just, it's 111 and it's now 111 on this time. That's very significant. So again, it's spiritual leaders coming together. One, 111 and now 111 here on this, on the timer, on this video. So it's two, it's a divine feminine and a divine masculine who are really trying to come together because you have this divine mission and purpose together. You had to get rid of these karmics from your past life who were trying to keep you apart because they wanted your energy and your abundance for themselves. So you should be able to easily look around and see who these people are. Because I bet you there's a queen of pentacles somewhere that is probably very privileged right now. And it's a divine masculine who's probably bankrupt. This queen of pentacles has all the money in the world because she's using his energy. And then there's probably a divine feminine here right now who is highly, highly spiritual, but can't seem to get love. It's because this king of pentacles is in the background, making sure that she's doomed to being just single and, and alone. Because he wants her energy to stay pure for him to use it. He doesn't, this is someone does not want a divine feminine to move on to anybody. This, listen, you can say that this, this reading makes sense or it doesn't. But let me say this. Be careful of these readers that you listen to. That's a strong message. And I've been telling y'all this for a long time. I, I'm not sitting here trying to say that I know everything because I don't. It's a lot that I don't know. I promise you, I don't claim to know everything or even most things. But please be careful of these people that keep telling y'all that you need to wait forever and forever, ever, ever, ever for these people because they don't recognize that they're in a karmic energy. Some of these people have y'all out here waiting on them, being single, celibate, alone, tired, worried, weak, and, and, and dealing with spiritual attack after spiritual attack. And they have no, no intentions of ever being with you they're only using your energy for some of you this person that i'm channeling that is your counterpart either this is someone in your life that you know that there is love between the two of you and you've probably never been in a relationship or this is somebody that you've never even been with you haven't even met them yet this is not some toxic person that you've been waiting 20 years to be in a relationship with this is for some of you, it's a fairly new connection or it's a connection that you haven't been in yet. These people that have been in your life, they were tied to your south node. They were tied to your karmic life. You're a totally different person now. None of those people can cross that line with you. That's why the Ace of Swords came out first. None of those people can cross over into this, this new journey with you. They all have to stay behind the gate. Every single person and it, uh, friends and family members who embody this energy, they cannot come with you. The empire that you're supposed to have as a spiritual leader with this other person, it automatically is it will automatically collapse and be demolished the minute that you let one of these people from your past into your life. Some people, I'm telling you, take that devil off your own. Um, Take the devil off of your your prayer list because some people are so this is my twin flame. That's my twin flame. That person is the reason why you have experienced more financial hardship, heartache, pain and suffering in your life than than anything. For some, it, it's look in your life. You will see you should know exactly who this person is. Proposal and fantasy. Some of you, you're going to have a fantasy proposal with this person. dream proposal but for some of you that's not even important fantasy still make sure in some of these situations like i said fantasy make sure that you're not in a situation where you're fantasizing so much about a person being with you and in your life that you're not recognizing that they're bad for you it's blocking you from being with a person that will offer you an actual proposal of marriage tough conversations to rebuild or maintain a relationship, you have to be willing to have tough conversations. And it's not always you doing what you want to do, but it's oftentimes you doing what has to be done. That's what spiritual leaders do. This is a spiritual, this is a divine feminine and a divine masculine who are both now, I think you guys have left dark things behind in your past from a past life. So somebody could have been in a religious group in their past life that was like doing voodoo. In this lifetime, they're not doing anything dark. 
and their group is trying to hold this masculine or feminine back. In a past life, some of you guys could have been a part of the occult, and you was using your gifts for something that was dark. In this lifetime, you're like, no, I'm I'm strictly just love and light. This this group is like, no, we want you, we want to get you back. I'm telling you, don't be seduced by the devil back into these these um, karmic contracts. Love letter. Somebody's going to e eventually communicate with you. It could be a letter, a text message, but somebody's going to say how they feel. Peace of mind, toxic behaviors. I feel like, oh, yin and yang, mirrored souls, season love. So some of you, some of you do know this person and they do love you, but you and this person, you've been separated because of this heavy, heavy uh, spiritual attack. This for some of you is someone fairly new in your life. I'm not getting a person that if they're not fairly new, this is like a, a, a friend that will later become your husband or wife. This is not somebody for a lot of you that you've had like a relationship with. Maybe you wanted it to be a relationship. And as soon as you guys thought about taking it to that level, the spiritual attacks happened. It was like the, the, the gates of hell just opened up and every demon was sent to attack you because your heart started thumping for this other person. That, that's what's going on here because these karmics that are attached to you they know when you start to feel love for somebody something was triggered this is this is like your life has been hexed or cursed i have another reading about that where i said there's a family curse or hex it is triggered and it starts over every single time you come into love or you come into abundance Th these these demons have been assigned to you they've been assigned to like gatekeep your life every time you get new love it's like hold on wait a minute go block that every time you get a new job or an opportunity for some money to come in or whatever these demons have been assigned to you to bring you this chaos and this conflict you have to keep getting stronger in the spirit to be able to block this and to see it to recognize when it comes i just said that a few days ago when you know that these full moons and new moons are coming you need to automatically okay let me let me move a little bit differently now let me not talk to certain people. Let me not do certain things. Let me not eat certain foods. Protect your energy at all costs because it is a very, very valuable. It's, 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 it's highly valuable. Energy is currency. And you got to stop paying everybody else's karmic debts with your energy.